Are you planning on visiting Barcelona for the first time? Wondering what's on the must-do list and what's a definite no-no? Looking for some tips to make your trip go smoothly? Well, don't worry, I've got you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, I'm Jasmine. Thank you for joining me, let's go. Boasting a reputation as one of the most attractive cities in Europe, Barcelona is Spain's second largest city and celebrates its role as the capital of Catalonia. The city's cosmopolitan and international vibe makes it a favorite city for many people around the world. It offers beautiful architecture, city life, and the best part, a gorgeous beach. It has everything you would want for a short break in Europe. Whether you're visiting for the first time or the 10th time, you'll need to know these basic tips before you go and stay tuned for some extra tips and how to avoid scams at the end that you won't want to miss. Barcelona is a wonderful city, but you do need to use your common sense and follow basic travel safety as pickpocketing and bag snatching is a common issue here. So do your best to secure your valuables, blend in, and don't look like a tourist. If you're looking to see many of Barcelona's main paid attractions, then you should purchase your tickets well in advance. This way, you'll not only benefit from a skip the line function, but also be able to visit on the day and at the time you want. Always keep cash on you. Whilst a lot of places do accept card, a lot still don't. So keep some cash on you. Oh, which by the way, if you didn't know already, is the Euro. Whilst people in the city do speak Spanish, Catalan is the preferred language of locals. People also tend to greet each other in this language. So it's worth learning a few simple phrases of Catalan, such as bon dia, hello, merci, thank you, and adeu, goodbye will go a long way as you travel through Barcelona. Barcelona has pleasant weather throughout the year due to its Mediterranean climate. Even the winter is mild, so visiting at any time in the year will be fine weather-wise. But when is the best time to visit in general? If you want to base your stay on what the weather will be like, then you need to know that the cold season is from December to February, with the average lows in the city being around five degrees Celsius. And the warm season is June until September, with July enjoying an average of 10 hours of sunshine every day. However, if you prefer a quieter visit with less tourists, like I do, then I recommend the best times to visit are either the end of May or the beginning of October. I traveled in September, which was great, but go a little later for it to be even quieter. Plus, you can enjoy the cheaper airfares and accommodation in these months. And when I say quieter, I do just mean the tourists, as there are still lots of things to do as well as plenty of festivals and events during these months such as the Primavera Sound Festival, which is at the very end of May. And during May and October, the weather is still good enough to visit the beach without it being too hot to walk around sightseeing comfortably. So keep this in mind when deciding. Getting around Barcelona is super easy and stress-free due to its excellent public transportation. Boasting a well-connected network of 12 lines and over 160 stations, the Barcelona Metro is a convenient way of getting you pretty much everywhere in the city and super cheap. Your waiting times are minimal and connections are regular as the train runs in a tight cycle of one minute and 30 seconds. And when you enter a station, all you need to know is the general direction of where you need to go. It's really easy to use. However, it is a popular spot for pickpockets, so take precautions. Their buses are equally as reliable and can get you to any corner of the city. If you aren't a fan of public transport or just prefer not to use it, then there are plenty of taxis around and they have a relatively affordable price too. The average base fare starts from around 2 euros and goes up by 1.4 euros per kilometer. You can also rent a bike or walk. Oh, and Barcelona has some hills. So keep this in mind if you have mobility issues. And of course, you can always rent a car if you prefer the freedom to make up your route and follow it at your own pace. In my opinion, driving a car is arguably the best way to see the country if you want to explore more local areas and go on day trips. If you do rent a car, check if the car has a rental sticker on it, and if so, remove this it's known that this sticker sometimes encourages theft. The roads and motorways are in excellent condition and typically don't have much traffic, so driving, even for your first time abroad, won't be too intimidating. You can rent a car for around $20 a day. If you do just want to stick to Barcelona alone and aren't interested in day trips or are only going for a couple of days, then it would be best to just use public transport. No visit to Barcelona is complete without enjoying its delicious cuisine. It has some of the freshest produce from land and sea, and there are some tasty, authentic dishes you just have to try. There's so many amazing restaurants, cafes, and bars to check out, but it is important to not get stuck in a tourist trap. You may have heard or read about the famous Las Ramblas Street, and whilst it's absolutely worth a stroll around, it is a tourist hotspot. Therefore, as you guess, is full of touristy restaurants and cafes. 
So if you want to taste authentic cuisine, I would recommend avoiding going into these places. They are aimed at tourists and therefore more expensive and are just not as high quality as other places. Personally, as a rule, I avoid restaurants which display photos of food on the menu and don't eat at the restaurants directly along the main Barcelona thoroughfare. Instead, head just a few streets back and you're guaranteed to find much better quality food with more reasonable prices. If you are looking to explore the food scene here, I would recommend booking a food tour to find hidden local restaurants. It's best way to explore the city's culture and cuisine and the guide will teach you things you just wouldn't find out on your own. And there are some authentic dishes you just have to try. Barcelona is famous for its Spanish tapas and I'm sure you've heard of paella. Both of these are a must try here and you can find some amazing restaurants selling these popular dishes. And honestly, the best way to experience the top culinary masterpieces is with tapas. You get lots of small dishes, so a great way to try new food. What's better than getting a little sample of everything on the menu? One of the best places you can try amazing tapas is at Bar Cañere. It's one of the top spots for tapas in Barcelona. I loved it. The atmosphere and the food were so good. Much like places such as Italy, the Spanish eat late. Most restaurants don't even open until at least 7.30 p.m. and people will typically eat from 9 p.m. onwards. So keep this in mind when planning your evening meal. Nightlife in Barcelona is also amazing. If you're looking for a good night out or two during your visit, then you won't be disappointed. No matter what you're looking for, bar hopping, clubbing, an old school bar, somewhere to grab a cocktail or even light up a joint, you'll find it all here. People don't generally go out before midnight in Barcelona and clubs are frequently open until 5 a.m., if not later. Getting around after hours isn't as easy as in the day. Taxis are super expensive, trains shut down around midnight, and Ubers are few and far between. You might find yourself walking back to your accommodation, which actually isn't as bad as you might think as the weather and scenery make for a lovely walk. Just take your heels off. The best place for a night out is easily El Raval. It has amazing old school bars, swanky cocktail clubs, and everything in between. Or head to La Barceloneta Beach for a night out in one of the big clubs there, then watch the sunrise on the beach afterwards. Be warned though, the big beach clubs are pricey, so maybe have some pre-drinks before you head over. Barcelona has a unique culture and vibe unlike anywhere else in Spain. You'll find museums, iconic nature parks, beautiful beaches, performing arts spaces, fine arts, and so much more. Barcelona is all about Gaudí, and while his attractions are impressive, most of them come at a price. So if you just want to check out what all of the buzz is about but don't want to invest too much time or cash, you can just have a walk by and see it. You don't need to go inside. There are so many free things to do here, so you should really take advantage of them. One of my favorite things to do here is to just stroll around. If you're a museum buff and you're there on a Sunday, hit all of the museums as all day on the first Sunday of each month and every Sunday between 3 to 8 p.m., the majority of the city-operated museums are free. So make use of this great opportunity to discover the history and culture of Catalonia and Spain. Another cheap way to explore is to head to the beach for the day and walk down the boardwalk. You'll find lots of shops, restaurants, and cafes, or you can just lounge in the beautiful sand and watch the world go by. One thing I want to mention is don't visit La Barceloneta Beach unless you want to be surrounded by tourists and overpriced tourist traps. This used to be the top place to go. But in recent years, it's just become tourist central. Instead, head to Nova Icaria Beach or Okada Beach. And if you're looking for something even more relaxing, you can rent a small boat that allows you to sail the waters surrounding the beach. It costs around 100 euros, but it is a great way to enjoy the coast. I would also recommend a stroll through La Rambla. As I mentioned before, eat elsewhere when visiting here. But strolling through is a must for every first time visitor. It leads you from the center of the city to the beach, is great for shopping, and is where you'll find the most famous market in all of Spain, La Boqueria Market. And although the restaurants here are a no-go for me, the market here is a great place to grab a bite on the go. Also, be sure to stop and watch some of the talented street performers along the street. The Magic Fountain of Manchuic has a regular sound and light show that's definitely worth checking out. It's the perfect way to end a day out and start your evening. And if you aren't really sure of where you should go, a walking tour is the perfect way to see all of the best spots. And there are tons of free tours throughout the day. It's clear there's no shortage of amazing sights to see, things to do and delicious foods to eat in Barcelona, but there are some things you should know before you go. As I promised earlier, here's some tips on how to avoid some common scams that you should know about. First off, 
I mentioned earlier about pickpockets being common, but I'll remind you again because it really is common. And there is no better way to ruin your trip than to be a victim of theft. So please be extra aware when in busy areas, if someone is too close or touching you, there is a good chance they are trying to pick your pockets, so keep your guard up. Another thing, if you know where you want to visit before you go, book it in advance, seriously. You will end up queuing for hours if you don't. Although I have mentioned the free museum days they offer here, it's worth mentioning that the queues on these particular days can be absolutely ridiculous. Honestly, when I went, the queue to the Picasso Museum was about half a mile long, so maybe skip it if you have the budget to pay for them. Another tip, you might want to avoid the tap water. Whilst it's drinkable and safe, it just doesn't taste good at all. However, they do have aqua stations dotted around the city, which you can use to fill up your water bottle with filtered water, so it is worth utilizing these. You don't need to tip in Barcelona. The locals rarely do, and unless you feel the service was excellent, then you just don't need to. If you do choose to, then it of course will be appreciated. Lastly, and possibly the most important of all, is to be aware of scams. If you look like a tourist, then you can be a target. Some of these people might come across as a lovely local, but I would remain skeptical of over-friendly people here. Here's some common scams to watch out for. People giving out free roses or flowers. You might have come across this elsewhere in the world and they are never free. Don't feel pushed into handing over anything. Just say no to them firmly. Sometimes you might be asked in the street to sign a petition. They will be distracting you with their clipboard and friendly manner to then pickpocket you whilst you sign. If you rent a car, a common scam is finding a ticket on your windscreen. It's aimed to make you panic and pay, which usually goes straight to the scammer's bank account. Don't walk around aimlessly lost looking at your phone for directions. This is a clear sign you are a lost tourist and can become a target. Just pop into a shop and ask for directions. Always look as if you know where you are going. So now you know all the best places to check out and how to make the most of your trip to Barcelona. Whenever you decide to visit, you will have an absolutely amazing time. I really hope this video helps you with your planning, gets you excited to go, or just gives you some inspiration for your next trip. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel guides and insider tips. Let me know in the comments where you would love to see next. Until our next adventure, stay safe, Travel Tribe.